great. Thanks for coming to Two for Friday at four, number 17. Who we got here? I have, I've said hello to a lot of you. S.A., hi, S.A., how you doing? Thank you for coming. Some of you should still be in Alex's stream. I see those names, and I know this is Alex's last day. Hey, Arlene, this is Alex's last day, and you should be with him. But thank you for coming over to me. I'll be on replay. If you want to go back to him, it's okay. Hey, Greg, how you doing? So I thank you so much for coming today. That little that little intro coming into the room, take the front row is all open for you. Um, that little coming into the room tune was Don't Think Twice by Bob Dylan. Uh, he wrote it in 1992 and released it in 1993. The melody is actually based on a traditional public domain song called Who's Gonna Buy Your Chickens When I'm Gone? Who knew? The melody and a couple of lines were taken from Paul Clayton's Who's Gonna Buy Your Ribbon When I'm Gone. That sounds a little better than chickens, I think. It was recorded two years before Dylan wrote Don't Think Twice, and it's been covered by Peter, Paul, and Mary, Merle Haggard, and Willie Nelson, just to name a few. So let me say some highs. Frank is here, and Greg, and Caesar, thank you for coming. And I've said hi to most of the others of you. So um, mentioning Millie, Willie Nelson, Today is a very special day. Dave Falcone did one of these tunes in his live stream earlier. Hey Dave, put your put your link to your uh, to your um, live stream in the chat. Dave does a great live stream at one on Friday for World Cafe Live. So speaking of Willie Nelson, today is Willie Nelson's birthday. He is 88 today. Willie's a national treasure. He was born on April 29th, 1933, in Texas, and he's one of the most popular singer-songwriters in the late 20th century. He learned guitar from his grandfather at the age of 10. He served in the U.S. Air Force, and he also started performing in bands and writing tunes in the 1950s along with DJing. In the 70s, he and Waylon Jennings spearheaded what has become known as outlaw music. Maybe that's when he started wearing his head headband. I don't know. I think that's a Google question. Somebody, somebody um, Put that into the Google question. When did Willie start wearing his headband? Hey, Mark, that's my bro. Um, good, good Google question, I think. He has a really unique style and very relaxed way of singing. He sings behind the beat. I, I don't know how he does that. It's really, really, uh, really strikes me. I really like that about him. And he plays with his nylon string guitar. It's got a hole in it. He calls it Trigger. It's his trusty sidekick. And um, this, uh, this next tune was released in 1961, and it was really made famous by Patsy Cline. And it went to number two on the country charts. Willie recorded it in 62, and he says he originally he called the song Stupid. But he says that his, his favorite version <clears throat> that was covered by anyone was Patsy Cline's version. He said it really has a lot of magic. So here's Willie's Stupid. Uh, crazy.
Here. Thank you so much for coming. Alberto has a fabulous life. He is a fabulous guitarist. I'm humbled that you came, Alberto. He's uh, he's on Monday at 3.30. He's a fabulous finger to picker and rock guitarist. So go check out Alberto Monday. Alberto Lombardi, Monday at 3.30. And Phil, I see Phil here. Toby, thanks for coming. Toby's my co-host on the West Coast. Kathy Minninger, my neighbor down the road. Thanks for coming, guys. I so appreciate it. Johnson. Thanks for coming, I appreciate it. Good to see y'all. Thanks for the applause, I really I really appreciate it. I don't dare read all the comments right now, but I see the hearts and I see the applause, so I really appreciate that. So um, now's the time in the show where I retune my guitar and ask you to share with everybody else and, um, and tell you that thanks, Toby, thanks to Toby Simmons for hosting me on the West Coast. I actually have a little note there saying retune. I'm too ADD. And um, all these things are in, on replay all the times I'm going to tell you are East Coast times, Eastern Standard Time, or is it daylight time now? I don't know. EDT or EST. I never pay attention to that. <clears throat> and get out your notepads. Um, Please, one of the best things you can do for an artist, you know, a lot of artists ask for um, PayPal donations and Venmo, and a lot of people can't afford that. It's, it's, it's fine. One of the best things you can do is go to an artist's site or their merchandise on like Amazon or CD Baby and write a review. It costs nothing to write a review. And then their sales are gonna skyrocket because you took the time to write a review. So do that for some of your favorite artists. Even if you can't afford to um, leave a tip, that's fine. I do this because I love doing it. And if you tip me, that's just a bonus for me. So um, Alex Bevan, this is his last live stream today. He's He'll be on for a little bit after me today. So if you wanna go right from me over to Alex Bevan, he's got live gigs now, so this is gonna be his last scheduled live stream. He'll do some pop-ups. Hey, Terry. Uh, Mark, if I didn't say hi, hi. Thanks for coming. Um, he'll do some pop-ups now and then, so keep an eye on Alex Bevan, B-E-V-A-N. 
If you're in Ohio, go see him live. And Lawrence Juber is off today, but he will be back next week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4.30. Raleigh Brown, he also mentioned some fabulous people, Frank Fatusky, uh, Cozy Sheraton, Charlie Coke, uh, Kokomo Kid. He also always announces people. And he's on Saturday at 3 o'clock and Sunday at 10.30 a.m. Like I said, I'm never up. So I always watch him on replay. And you know, the artists are really good about that. If you watch on replay, usually they all go back and they, they watch the comments and they reply to you whether you've watched it live or not. So do that for them and comment. Let them know that you were there. Uh, Tim Eady is on. He's from Scotland. He's on at 5 p.m. on Saturday. He's a fabulous guitarist, um, plays P Penny Whistle and... Uh, and and, and uh, concertina and he does flat picking does gypsy jazz does Irish tunes he's really really good if you're into jazz Tuck and Patty are on Sunday uh, at 4 p.m. check them out and one of the, the, some, the finest jazz couple I know Anthony Stape is on Australia on Sunday at 7 p.m. Muriel Anderson Monday at 7 p.m. Uh, don't forget Alberto Lombardi at 3 p.m. he's from Italy and he's just amazing. I love Alberto. Um, L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. Alberto Lombardi. Three three, is it? Type it in the chat, Alberto. It's 3 or 3.30. Mm, I'm not sure. Um, and I think it's 3.30. And um, Muriel Anderson is Monday night at 7 p.m. She has a guest this, this week, Mark Kibble. And a special thing I want to announce is going to be a live stream on Tuesday at 8 p.m. called Music My Mother Would Not Like. There's a link on my page so you can go there. You have to pre-register in order to attend and then they will send you a Zoom link. Um, special, two of the special guests this week are Mary Flower, and you know how much I love Mary, and Pat Donahue. What a force. He's an amazing guitarist. They're each going to do a 20-minute set and then there's somebody else who's doing a 20-minute set with them. Music my mother would not like. Go to my page, uh, click on the link, and register in advance. I'll repost that after I'm on today. And uh, also, I'm doing a live gig. It's going to be at Crossing Vineyard Winery if you're in the area, Newtown, PA. Uh, Sunday. It's inside, um, 2 to 6. Wear your mask. I felt very safe the last time I was there, and some of the people liked me so much that the owner booked me right away for another five gigs. So I'm looking forward to that live. And I hope to see some of you out there. If you're not sure about details, check out my website, bunnybarns.com. Easy to find. So the second song I want to do for you is because this weekend is the Kentucky Derby. Woohoo! I love watching the horses. I don't bet, but I love watching them. I like to try to choose who's going to win. This, so it's, this was written by a singer-songwriter, Dan Fogelberg, in 1980. The song was actually commissioned by ABC for its telecast of the 106th running of the Kentucky Derby and premiered on the network's Derby preview special the night before the Derby. Fogelberg said he wrote it in two days, and it peaked at number 18 on the Billboard 100 chart and is the unofficial theme of the Kentucky Derby. You know, the, the, I love, uh, the, the lyrics of this tune just make me cry. When I, every time I listen to it, I always cry. It, the chorus mentions the chance of a lifetime and a lifetime of chance, and talks about the experience of young horses and their lives in horse racing. So here you go, Run for the Roses. <laughs>
Run for the roses. Thanks, honey. Run for the roses. And I saw some other people coming in. Um, thanks for coming, Abby. And I'm Barrett. I saw Barrett too. And Donna Lynn, one of the ushers from Sellersville. So thank you so much for coming. Rodney, watching Fogelberg. Yep. Yeah, it was. it's a great tune. I love that tune. Run for the roses. So thank you all for coming today. I really appreciate it. Remember, I'm on replay. So if, if you know anybody who you think would enjoy it, um, please share it. Um, thanks for coming, Dave, Terry, Barrett. I really appreciate it. And, um, and, you know, letting the guitar be my voice heals my soul. And I hope my music makes you happy. Please be safe. Uh, be well. I'm vaccinated. Get, hope you all get your vaccinations too. And um, I hope to see you next week for Two for Friday at 4, number 18. Thanks for coming to number 16. Love you all. Bye-bye.